Hey, Brad, Jack of all countries, master of none, still better than a master of one. Uh, I'm doing my morning ritual, trying to get into shape for a marathon, and I'm going to stick by the theme of my last couple of videos and um, just kind of further it for just a little bit. And that is uh, post my experiences with post LASIK ecstasia, and um, which mirrors the natural disease of keratoconus. And I, mean, I guess my big reason for this is I see it as a big area where my personal experiences are unusual and can help maybe enlighten the public some or hopefully maybe inspire some others with keratoconus or a post lysic ecstasia that does have the experience of being temporary blind. Um, and I am temporarily very legally blind. Um, when eye doctors kind of check my rough vision, I mean, I don't see the big E on the eye chart, and they bring their fingers like, I'm about, probably about four feet from my face, maybe maybe even less, before I can tell how many fingers they're holding up. So, I am still far from being like walking in the dark in the black, blackout, but it's, it is a very big challenge, and there is no way I can ever drive. Um, even crossing the street that I'm coming up to in front of me, that's actually making this video and being able to look to see if cars are coming or not in the video is way better but the problem is there's a narrow field of vision <laughs> but at least I can see like if the cars were really there without their headlights on I definitely wouldn't and they were moving very fast they would definitely hit me <laughs> um, or they'd have to slam on their brakes so hard it, so I gotta be extraordinarily cautious when I'm out doing this in the mornings. That being said, there, I think most people with my condition don't even experience that because they just stay home. And it's so easy to do is just stay home and then put your contacts in and, um, and then live life like a normal person. Um, and then just, you know, only live your life for the amount of hours you can live with your contacts in, which for all of us, that varies quite a bit. Depends on depends on your eye conditions, um, how bad it is, whether you're able to tolerate the scleral lenses, and all kinds of reasons like that. Uh, for me, I probably get a good 12 hours a day with contacts in. Um, at least probably at least four. That um, I got to figure out a way to navigate my life as a blind person person and so and I enjoy a little bit of adventure so I guess I I don't mind doing things like this that can further my abilities and make it so I can if something happens and I can't see I will be very very prepared for it um, I want to recognize the people that have a condition different than like the that can't be corrected with contacts or glasses and you have to live your life like this all the time. I mean, it's... <laughs> the contacts bring a world of improvement to my life. Well, today, I don't know if you can tell real quick how poorly dressed I am. But the point is, I couldn't see. Um, and I didn't lay out the clothes I wanted to wear for this run. Because I actually wasn't planning on it last night when I went to bed. So it's really important to have us and you plan when you can't see. If you can't see it... <laughs> You got to do what you can do when you can see, so you're prepared for when, you're, when you can't see. And if you couldn't have most, the majority of the time, if you weren't in a condition where you could see, I mean, you wouldn't even have that option. I guess you'd be very dependent on other people. But fortunately, that's not a problem for me. All right, well, I'm going to call the call it quits for this video. Hopefully, I covered a couple things. You can start to understand why. Uh, Why well, it's a unique experience to have temporarily blindness. Um, here's an example. I'm on a regular, just regular zoom here. In this vehicle here, I could just see there's there's a big yellow thing out there. <laughs> so I'm going to walk towards it. And I'm pretty sure I don't remember it being there. And I, you can probably tell exactly what's going on. It's, it's some kind of like SUV thing. I wasn't 100% sure what the heck it would be. Um, when I ran by here earlier, I don't think it was there. And I don't know if it's parked over here for repair. Oh, it's a nice Bronco. 
Oh, no, huh? <laughs> well, that ended up being a very interesting conversation because there was somebody sitting in a car and they were waiting to um, go pick up or go drop off their kid at school and just was a convenient place to park. So, yeah. It, <laughs> And she said, it's definitely school bus yellow. It's like when I first seen it, I'm like, what the heck is a small school bus doing? <laughs> what is a small school bus doing parked right there? And I really expected it to be a small school bus. But anyways, that's just how my life goes when I'm blind. Well, if you got to this point in the video, thanks for watching. I just watched them all. Um, I'm going to throw them together really quickly and post them up here on YouTube. Uh, please... Check out some more of my videos, like and subscribe, and let me know what you like about these videos, and I'll keep making more. Brad, and I'm out for now.